Yes. Israel thought they would rob God, didn't they? They quit paying tithes and offerings. <coughs> I'll tell you who's going to cost when you do that. <coughs> the one that's going to pay the biggest loss is you, my friend. If you don't give at least what God prospered you, the tithe that you have, you owe to Him. I don't talk about giving much. My thought is if a person gives himself, you don't have to worry about telling them what they should give. They'll automatically do it. The Lord placed me in a place like this to remind you of those things. You can't out give God, can you? With a recipient. All things that come from him. Oh, he gave us the dearest thing that there was to give in the person of his own son. What else could we ask? These parents here, what's your greatest possession? I'll tell you, your children are dead. God gave us his only begotten. Except for that horrible death on <coughs> Calvary's cross. And he said to all of us, whosoever will, given my son for him, let him come and take of the water of life. My friend, it's your choice. You get to choose your own eternity. Jesus has already done his part and died in your place. All you got to do is embrace him as your Savior. The best part about it, he never turned the first person away that ever came. He said, him that cometh unto me, I will in no wise cast out. Amen. He never turned, not the first person away. 